when you're working on a dream, at some point in time, a transition takes place. And the transition is, is what you are becoming in pursuit of the dream. Because even if you don't get the dream, you become such a strong and powerful person, it will so change your life, you can look at something else and say, well, I think I'll go do this then. Because you have now developed yourself in such confidence and such competence in how to deal in the arena of life that you can move into another area and not miss a beat. Once you begin to discover who you are, then you really realize how you have been given authority and dominion over everything on the face of the earth, including all the dimensions of your life. But you can only do that through the struggle of life. And most people avoid the struggle. Most people go through life avoiding pain. Somebody said, the land of familiarity belongs to the dead. That most people like to feel like they're a king in the area of their comfort zone. They only want to do those things that they know how to do well. Osborne said, unless you attempt to do something beyond that which you've already mastered, you will never grow. So if you want to begin to grow, you've got to put something out here that you can't reach easily, that has got to make you stretch, got to make you jump for it, got to make you get back a little bit and dig in so that you can take a leap for it. And maybe you jump up there and you miss it and you skin your knees and you come back again and you bust your lip next time. But you keep on and through that process, you learn how to leap higher. You start challenging yourself to dig deeper and then you discover some things about you that you don't know right now. Some talents that you have in you that you didn't know that you can do. And I'm saying to you, give yourself a chance. Here's something else. If you want to begin to make your stuff happen for you, I think that it's very important that you start trusting yourself. Listen to yourself. Listen to that still small voice within you. Don't try and make everything logical. There's some things about life that defies logic, that you just can't explain how the outcome is going to be. That once you begin to trust yourself and your ideas and your instincts, life takes on a whole new meaning because now I want you to do that feeling that you are led. Just feel, I am led. I remember the worst speech I had ever given in my life. For years, I had a tremendous inferiority complex because I'm not college educated. And this person knew this. And she said, let me write this speech for you. You're going to speak at Ohio State University. Those people are very educated there. I care about you. I don't want you to embarrass yourself. I had a speech in my mind, but this person was stronger than I was negatively than I was positive about my own thoughts. And I gave my power away and I got up there at the Ohio Union and I read this straight speech and did not move and did not take my eyes off the page because I'm not accustomed to reading. And after I finished, some people gave me a standing ovation because I read it extremely well and I was very tense. But Boo was with me and we've been together since second grade. And I didn't want to go on the side of the room where he was. I saw the look in his eyes. So finally we were going to the car and we got in the car and Boo was trying to be as tactful as he could. And then he just said, that was the worst speech you have ever given. I said, oh boy, I know, I know. Why did you read the speech? What happened to your spontaneity? You've always been an extemporaneous speaker. Les, why did you do that? Well, she told me that they wouldn't accept what I said. Les, let them take you as you are. I gave my power away. Ladies and gentlemen, don't give your power away. You don't need anybody to approve your dream. It was given to you. If they can't see it, it's because it wasn't given to them. It was given to you. Hold it, nourish it, cultivate it, work on it. It's yours, it's your baby. Work on it until it comes into fruition. I gave away my power and I said, I'm not gonna do that no more. Here's something else. Do what you know is right. Be people like you want to be treated. Don't try and take any shortcuts. Don't try and cheat. Pay your dues up front. What goes around comes around. You can pay now or you will pay double later. I'd rather lose out on my dream doing the right thing than the cheat trying to make a shortcut to get to my goal. I wanna be able to look myself in the mirror. And that's what you wanna do. There's no saying, judge a man not by what he does, but by that that he doesn't have to do. And to judge a true quality of a man is what do you do when nobody's looking? See, there's some good out there for you in the universe that has your name on it. And nobody can get your good. It has your name on it. They can't take your stuff. It's your stuff. So do the right thing. There might be a tendency sometimes because of the negative part of our consciousness and our own programming for us to want to say, well, I just do it this time. It won't matter. Won't nobody know. Ladies and gentlemen, everything matters.